Now that it's October, we're starting to think about carving some pumpkins. Not just any carvings, as these pieces of pumpkin art are making the residents at Grand Villa smile and getting them to reflect on their own memories of carving pumpkins. With every piece of pumpkin, Mary Farr starts to see what Willie is doing. It's just a happy feeling, and that's good for us. Far is a resident at Grand Villa. We just have fun. Well, it's obvious. <laughs> Where they watched pumpkins become pieces of art. We were asking, like, how sharp the knives are and just how quickly he does it. I mean, it's just such incredible artwork. It's a great fun activity to bring in the fall, and it also helps them reminisce about things uh, from their past. So from like their childhood, uh, working with their families, helping carve pumpkins, things like that is really meaningful to them. Each pumpkin is different. So when we look at a pumpkin, we always think what we can create with it. Sharing it, it just makes it more fun than just uh, carving it. We don't see it as a job, we see it as uh, something fun to do. So it's, it makes, makes life more enjoyable. He hopes his art is contagious. Maybe we can inspire them to do something. Uh, bring out the artists in them. It's been a little uncomfortable getting older because I always thought I'd be working and sometimes have the feeling of isolation and that's not healthy and they do such a good job here creating activities and fun events and it just makes you feel good. While Willie is carving a smile on the pumpkin. With what we do, if we can put a little smile on their face, that's a great satisfaction for us. He's also putting one on Far's oh, face. So good. <laughs> it makes me smile. Because it's not just a pumpkin. It's a trip down memory lane. First on the Western Slope, Colette Bordelon, KREX 5 News.